sec. Give me a sec. I'm working on the revisions. Man, I cannot believe how long we've been at this. <laughs> yeah, time to stop. I think it's perfect just the way it is. No, no, I'm just putting in changes. Just the ones we talked about. No, I think it's time for a break, Hughes. Okay, time for okay. some fun. Just give fun. me a sec. Give me a sec, all right? You know what they say about all work and no play, right? down in the lobby and you spend a ton of money and what do you get obviously something very nice <laughs> so what's the deal are you going to an awards ceremony or something an awards oh my god i didn't i tell you, you your pulitzer arrived in the afternoon mail so we've been so busy that slipped your mind <laughs> yeah come on i want to get out of these dumpy rooms with the constant smell of pizza and sangria and go somewhere nice for dinner you know, we were supposed to leave for Oakdale this morning, and that was before your idea about the second story. That means Margo was expecting me this afternoon. Yeah, well, so call her and tell her you'll be on the wild. Oh, honey, hey, sorry, I'll be home tomorrow. Tom, listen, I've got the perfect story to make the articles into a great trilogy. Now, just listen, we're going to go back to the Hogan's family. We're going to talk to them about, about how they have to rebuild their home. And then we're going to tie it in with how all the victims have to, have to rebuild their whole lives. I mean, think about this. This is exactly what we need to make this work. You, you know, you know uh, what? I left with absolutely no notice yesterday, so that means I left Margo at home dealing with everything. Oh, come on. Margo can hold the fort down. Call her. I'm sure she's going to say it's all right. Eddie. Eddie, Eddie, what are you doing in my room? Oh. Eddie, what? What? Mm. What are you saying? Eddie, what? What? Eddie, can you hear me? Mm. What? Eddie! That's weird. Nobody's at home. Well, maybe she just unplugged the phone so she could sleep. No, she's not allowed to do that. She's a detective. Well, maybe she was really tired and she'd even hear it ring. She's also a light sleeper. Something is wrong. Oh, come on, Tom. You're overreacting. You're probably right. She's probably just ticked because I'm not home yet. And I was going to call earlier this, this morning, which I also did no, not no, do. No, no, You're still overreacting. No. Leaving Margo at home to deal with everything was not fair, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the road and head no, back to Oakdale. No, 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 Tom, you can't. You, you know can't. what, Emily, by the way, the idea about the third article is a great one, so you just do the interviewing, you do the writing. No, I can't. What are you talking about? Sure I can't, can. because you're the one who's got the perfect plan on these people's feelings. Their torment, the torture, you're the one who can do it. Come on, let's go have a nice dinner, we can call Margo afterwards. Listen, listen, listen. If you are half as good of a writer as you are an editor, and I know you are. You know what? Just don't even think about it. Do what you always do. Just do it. Boy, when you make a decision... You know what? Let me tell you something. This was an unbelievable experience. It was just a shot in the arm. The whole idea about being down here in the middle of everything was terrific. And, and writing the stories, I feel like I'm like 20 years old again. <laughs> and... I gotta go. Oh, God. I, I do. All right, fine. I understand, I guess. Oh, I'll see you back in Oakdale here. Yes. Uh, but you remember this, Hughes. This is just the beginning. You know, you're going to go back to Oakdale, and you're going to be forced to write stories on, on the boat show and the craft fair and everything. And it's not going to be half as much fun as this, but you remember, you've proven you're a good writer. You can do this. <laughs> you know what? Hmm. Thank you. It was fun. I gotta go. <laughs> Listen, when you finish the article and you finally decide you need somebody to edit it, give me a call. Oh, I've created a monster. Hey. 
Eddie, come on. Look. Eddie, 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 it's Margo. Can't be. Eddie. Mom. Eddie, don't you know where you are? Mom. Eddie, come on. Eddie, Mom. just... Eddie, tell me what you want. Tell me Mo, what you want. Who, where's you, who Mo? are you talking to, where's Eddie? Mo? What's going on? Who are where's you talking Mo? to, Eddie? Mo. What? What? Where's I don't understand, Mo? Eddie. What is where's this? What, what do you want? Who is? Who is Mo? Who is Mo? What do you, is it someone that you want to talk to? Is it, is, someone, is it something you're looking for? You're looking for something, Eddie? Come on, it's Margo. Come on, do you know where you are? Eddie, are you okay? Eddie, talk. Eddie, 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 stop, Eddie. Get up, get it over and I broke it yeah you broke it it's okay though and then but the phone rang and then you whacked out of I guess I can basically assume you don't like lights and bells what else did I do you just you just sort of wandered around a little bit and then you sort of fell over onto the onto the bed no don't be Eddie, Eddie, are you saying, Eddie, listen to me, are you saying you don't remember what Look, happened? I'm, I'm really sorry, okay? I'll, I'll get the hell out of no, here no, right no, now. No, 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 Eddie, wait, please. Look, okay. I, I promise, I'll get a job tomorrow, okay? I'll pay for the lamp and, and the phone, but I gotta go. Eddie, Eddie, no, Eddie, 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 wait, 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 no, no, you're not going anywhere until you explain. Come on, explain this. Right now. <sighs> Look, I, I, I gotta get down to no, my room. No, please, just explain to me what's going on. Now, you come into my room in the middle of the night, and you break the lamp and the phone, and you scare me half to death. Now, what? Look, it was a joke, okay? It was just a big, a big prank. No, stop it. Stop lying to me. You don't have to do that. It wasn't a prank, Eddie. Come on, I saw it. I saw it. You were, came in here, you were very upset. You were very angry. You were really out of control, Eddie. I was just at the time I saw you in the jail. Remember when you hurt your hand? Oh, that time you were yelling a lot, and this time you were just mumbling. And it was just like the first night you got here, Eddie, and you said you sat in that chair and you broke it. And Eddie, it was just like when you broke the vase. Those weren't accidents, were they? You did that on purpose, didn't you? Yeah, okay? Why? That's right, I Why? did it on purpose. Why? Because I hate this house and everything in it, especially you. Now I gotta... Stop it, come on, Eddie. Something is very wrong here. Now, I saw you. You just passed out. Look, I saw it. Eddie, look, you want to know what the truth me. is? You yes, want to know the yes. truth? I'm nuts, all right? I'm crazy. Eddie, would you please? Why can't just you? Leave me alone. I'm out of my mind. Tell me the truth. Why can't you just be open with me, Eddie? Why can't you tell me who Mo is? God, come on. Eddie, Eddie, please. Eddie, please, nothing is so hard that you can't put it into words. Please, just talk to me. Eddie, please trust me. Come on. Come on, now you sit. Eddie, when you're walking in your sleep, Eddie, isn't that what it was? Come on, can't you just tell me what happened? Can't you tell me what happened? What were you looking for? I've been doing it since me? I was a kid. Right? Yeah? See, I told you. I'm a nutcase. Yes, I am. I don't know, I go to bed and it's it's like I'm that, that Jekyll and Hyde guy, you know? I mean, I do things and, and, and I can't, can't remember doing them until I wake up and, 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 I, and I see it. I, I, I could have come in here tonight and I killed you. And I wouldn't have remembered a damn thing. You would never do that. You would never hurt me. Hey, it's your life, lady. You believe what you want. Well, Eddie, have you ever hurt anyone while you were sleepwalking? A couple of my foster parents said I attacked them. Yeah, well, is that true? I didn't have any marks on them, but I can't remember, so I don't really know for sure. Well, Eddie, I've seen you hurt yourself. I've seen you... Yeah, and that makes birth. it okay, right? No, it's not okay. This is a really big problem, Eddie, and we've got to talk about it so that I can help you with it. Look, you can't help me, okay? This has been going on for a really long time. How long? I want to go to bed. Who's Mo? 
Who's Mo? Look, just, just leave it alone, okay? Can't you ever just leave it alone? When you tell me who Mo is, I'll give it a rest. It's a stupid sweater, okay? A sweater? Yes, a sweater. Now, just forget it. Okay, it's a sweater. Why are you looking for it? Because I lost it, duh. When? A long time ago. How long ago? I was like... four or five. Jeez, can't you just leave it alone? So weren't you four or five when you went into your first foster home, Annie? Yes. Isn't that when Dina first went into jail? Yes, okay, yes. I gotta go to bed, please. I didn't, no, no, just tell me about the sweater. Just that. It's a sweater with this stupid fur collar on it. It's Dina's. I liked it. I, I gave it a name. Mo. Just like it was a pet. Before they took Dina away, she gave it to me so that I would have something of hers. I used to sleep with it. What, what happened to the sweater? I woke up one day and it was gone. It was this teenage broad that lived in the house where I was living and she liked it. I know she took it. She told me she didn't, but I know she did. I looked and I looked. I, I never found it. You're still looking. But so it's just, it's very much like what happens to you. I mean, I would wake up and I wouldn't know where I was or what I had done. And, no, it isn't like what happened to you. That's very different. But I mean, I, I know the feeling. Yeah. Yeah. Does it happen anymore? No, because what I had was very treatable, so I got treatment. <laughs> it's, a, it's a thing called post-traumatic stress syndrome. What's that? It's a, a reaction to a very major trauma, you know, that people have if they are in a, a war or a car accident or a building bombing or... In my case, it was an airplane crashing, but I survived. But my brain would kind of just um, lose it, you know, on a, on a conscious level, and I'd be cruising around town, and I'd be talking to people, and I'd be doing things with people, and then I'd come to, and I wouldn't know. It's kind of like, when you know, when you wake up and you, 